Hello folks and welcome to the Proofpoint Essentials end user walkthrough. First thing you'll notice in your top left hand side is your login URL. You're going to put your username, your email address here, as well as your password. Go ahead and hit login. You can be taken immediately to your log search. This is going to give you the ability to search for your quarantine messages. You're going to see several parameters that are available, such as the inbound mail, the status being quarantine, and a date time frame. Simply hitting search will list all these without changing any parameters. However, you can modify this to check outbound mail, as well as additional statuses that have come through, such as any in the attachment sandboxing, reported, blocked, or cleared. You also have the ability to put a from, a to, or subject to narrow your search. And you also have the ability to advance search. Under the advanced search, you're going to be able to filter against blocked, spam, viruses, images, clean, or allowed. Moving over to the emergency inbox, if you are in an outage situation, you'll be able to bring up your emergency inbox. This is where you'll find any messages queued up in the system currently, so they will show up in here if you're currently down, as well as you have the ability to send and receive email during this outage situation. You have the ability to write your new messages here. Simply create a new message, and it's going to give you the ability to write an email directly through here. You can also reply to any of the messages that are in there as well. If your administrator has archiving turned on, you'll have the ability to search your archive through this tab here. You can put your searches in here and search your own existing archive. Next tab down here is your profile. This is where you can change your information, such as your first name, your last name, and any contact information. You also have the ability to change your password here as well. The next tab down here is your aliases. You can add any additional aliases to your account that you would need simply by hitting the add alias and putting the address in here. Depending on the spam settings that your administrator has allowed, you will have the ability to change certain settings, such as your spam sensitivity. This has the ability to control what you see in your inbox and what goes to your quarantine. You also have the ability to adjust the quarantine bulk email, as well as setting up stamp and forwarding, as well as changing backscatter protection. Clicking on the Daily Digest will give you some additional options on the control of the time frame when you would like to see the Daily Digest come to your inbox. You have the ability to see any additional groups that you've been assigned to. And also you have your allow and block senders. This is where you can add additional allow and block senders to your account. Thank you for joining us today on our end user walkthrough of the Proofpoint Essentials console. Thank you. Have a great day.